This video will cover the topic, finding where a function is increasing, decreasing, or constant given the graph. Let's work through an example problem together to understand this topic. Say we are asked to identify where this function is increasing, decreasing, and constant when we are given the graph we see here. How can we start this problem? Well, we can start by tracing the parts of the graph with our finger, or in this case, the mouse. If we trace the graph between A and B, we can see that as we move from left to right, the graph is falling between these two points. So we know that the function is decreasing between A and B. Okay, but what about between the points B and C? It doesn't look like the graph is falling or rising. You're right. If we trace this section of the graph, we can see that the graph is neither rising nor falling. It is horizontal. This tells us that this part of the function is constant. Why don't you try the section from C to D? Well, if we trace this part of the graph from left to right, we can see that it is rising, which means that the function is increasing between these points. Good job, that is correct. So the final answer for this problem is between A and B, the function is decreasing, between B and C, the function is constant, and between C and D, the function is increasing. So for other problems, we can use the same method of tracing the graph between points to see if the graph is falling, rising, or horizontal, which tells us if the function is decreasing, increasing, or constant between those points. Good work! You seem to understand this topic quite well.